hi this is Sharisi and welcome to my YouTube version of my animated deco sim tutorial. So at this point I think I've made somewhere near 200 animated deco sims and summoning all that experience from those journeys I have finally compiled a tutorial that I am happy with and ready to share with you. However, before we get started, just keep in mind that this is the light version of the tutorial as the full version will be over on my Patreon. Now following this tutorial, you will be able to get all the necessary steps you need to know in order to make an animated deco sim start to finish. It's just going to be without some of the benefits that the Patreon members will have. There won't be as detailed as an explanation or a breakdown in every step to learn the how and why. I won't be able to provide as much support for you if anything should go wrong also just because of the nature of this type of platform and our limited ways for communication. Any files I say that are going to be up for download in the video will not pertain to YouTube. Again however what you will be getting over here though is a full tutorial that you will be able to follow to figure out how to make your own deco sims. Now without further ado, let's get started with step one of this tutorial. Step one of this tutorial is going to be to make your sim, right? You need to make your sim who's actually going to be the animated deco sim. One other thing I would suggest that if you are maybe planning to release your deco sims in the future, if you're planning to maybe put them up for early access before going public like I do, is to be careful if you use cc made by other creators for example i recently got messaged by a creator telling me that they didn't like me using my their cc on my deco sims and furthermore they didn't like me putting my deco sims up for early access if they're wearing their cc however i've also messaged other creators and asked if they had a problem with it and they said they're fine so i'm not saying this just to scare you but just to be mindful that some cc creators may feel that way and she looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and press save and exit to the main menu. So I can go ahead and find out what number save file this is. Step three of this tutorial is going to be to rip the sim using sim ripper. Next, in order to export the sim, I'm going to go ahead and press this day button, this D-A-E. I'm going to go ahead and pick selective clone. After that, I'm going to go ahead and press on this object button. So one object I found that works is this bed here that comes in base game. So I'm just going to put in tutorial deco sim for studio. I'm going to press selective clone again and then object. All of my stuff is going to load up, except this time I'm going to go ahead and press show debug items. Once I do that, you'll see this object up over here. That is the one we actually need. So step four of this tutorial is going to be to properly add the bones. And this is going to be part one of this process. In the post for this step, I'll be putting a picture. And these are the bones that I would recommend you use as well, especially if this is your first time. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to copy the name. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to do the same with everything else. And then for the parent, I'm going to select B root. Make sure I'm on clip pack and then press animation. So I'm now in Blender 4.2. So to make my way to file, import, day folder, you'll see here it should be the first one. The next step we're going to do is append the drop shadow. Now for this tutorial, I'll be uploading to the Patreon post the drop shadow that I typically use. Of course, if you don't like it, you could go ahead and export a mesh of a different object and then steal that drop shadow from there. I typically separate the head and the feet from the rest of the body, so that's what we're going to do. Now that I've done this, it's time for me to update my cut numbers. Now in order to do this, we need to reference the original mesh groups of the mesh we came from, which was the bed. Now it's time to append the rig. I'm going to make my way to the modifiers tab. Under the object section, I'm going to press on the rig. Now once you do that, you should see your deco sim snap into this, the animation and what it looks like. And now it's time for another very important step, and that is for us to delete the vertex groups, cater the vertex groups to each mesh group. 
So again, to reiterate, I'm not only going to be deleting bones that are not applicable for the head and feet, but I'm also going to be deleting bones that I didn't even create back in Sims 4 Studio. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the modifiers here and then press save. So I'm going to go ahead and save this clip package I opened earlier and then opened up the tutorial. I'm going to import it into Blender to make sure that everything is working properly and my cut numbers are lining up. Okay, I'm going to see it looks like this when it imports, that's because the texture is messed up. I'm going to go ahead and go into the texture tab. Under diffuse, I'm going to import that one. And I found when you use the one that comes with Sims 4 Ripper, it makes it really shiny and I don't like it. So I've actually found a pretty good one that I like that I've taken from another object. And I will be uploading it onto this post for you to be able to head and go and download it. So you can use it on your deco sims as well. I'm seeing that it looks the way it's supposed to. The textures are lining up properly. And then I'm going to go make the lower poly versions for this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and press import mesh. Great, that's imported well. It looks good. Highlight everything. And then left click and press join or control j to join and i'm also going to go up here to the scene tab make sure that this has the cut number zero and then also save so i'm just going to import the underscore four for all of these okay so we are now at step six of the tutorial and that is going to be to finish processing or adding our bones for our animated deco sim and now here we are going to scroll down until we see model lod so once we're here, I'm going to make my way to the data tab, go to edit items, and then I'll see a screen that looks like this here. Scroll all the way down here until I run into right here, bind pose bones. I'm going to click on that, but I need to manually insert all of these bones here into this section over here. You're going to press save save and then we're going to make our way to the second fong here i'm going to do the same thing of opening up the bind pose bones and then the bones section after you've done that you're going to make your way to the second model lod press edit items press the bones here you're going to scroll down find the bind pose bones and then you're going to do the same exact thing after you've done the second model LED, you're then going to make your way to the one that just says model. You're going to go to LODs, edit items, press on low detail flags, scroll down to you see meshes, and then this form will look familiar again. You'll have the bones, edit menu, edit items, scroll down, find the bind pose bones, and then you're going to go through the same thing of copying and pasting the bone. Hey guys, we are here at step seven and we are literally so close to the finish line. Like you can see it. I promise you, you can see the finish line because in this step, we are going to be updating our tuning files. Well, updating and adding our tuning files. And this is going to be the step where we basically connect our animation to our deco sim. Now, first things first, I need to add my animation to my clip package. So back in my tutorial folder, I'm going to open the tutorial files package I made earlier. And then I'm also going to go here and I'm going to open Leah one underscore one. Select the rig, go into pose mode, and then making sure I'm in pose mode, I'm going to press this and then save and close. Now it's time to add that file I just saved into my clip package. I'm going to go to my warehouse tab. Go to clip, and for my actor name, I'm going to change it to Leah, and then I'm going to press save, and then minimize that for now. Back in this file, I'm going to make my way to the warehouse tab, and then go to tools, extract tuning, object, underscore, sculpture. I'm going to click on that, it should be the first one that pops up, and then press add to current package. Now you'll see that this object tuning and this sim data file is now in my folder. I'm going to make my way to the data tab and I'm going to change the name of this here. So I'm going to put in Jerisi, whatever you name it is, not as important, but what is important that you add a colon 
This is going to tell some Source Studio basically to come with a custom tuning ID. Okay, from this point on, we could enter in all of our information manually if you wanted to, but for a quality of life sakes, we're actually going to reference some files uploaded by Pixified Tips. So a really cool thing that they'll do sometimes when they do their tutorials is kind of upload what I call like benchmark, benchmark files. So we're going to refer to those for establishing the foundation of our code, I guess you could call it in this part for what we're going to type into the XML. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in this Patreon post for you to go ahead and download. And when you open it, you should see three files there. So I'm just going to press batch import and then I'm going to make my way to where I have those files saved. Now that I'm here, you should see your files just look like this. There should be three of them. I'm going to open the text file and then I'm going to go ahead and have my SimSource Studio import these two other files. Those are going to give me my animation tuning and my animation state machine. Again, there are other ways to do that besides referencing the Pixified Tips one. I just like to do it because it is a slower or a shorter loading time to import those rather than to import them and then edit them from there, especially with the animation state machine. So I'm going to locate my line of sight, enter to go a line beneath it, and then paste what I copied from that text file. Next, I'm going to go into my data tab. I'm going to copy the name I changed it from earlier. I'm going to make my way to the animation tuning, highlight the name, paste what I took from before, and then I'm going to name it animation. There are multiple ways that people tag their tunings, so really you could do this however you'd like as long as you name it something specific to the animation tuning and animation state machine. This is just the way I typically do it, but it doesn't have to be this necessarily if you don't want it to be. But then next I'm going to make my way to the animation state machine. I'm going to copy the name here, paste, and then this time I'm going to ASM. Then I'm going to copy the name I just made, make my way up here, press tools, sorry, tools, hash generator and then paste it in the text. Now I'm going to go to FNV64, highlight it, copy, and then make sure that I paste this in the instance, not the instance decimal, the instance specifically. After that, I'm going to bounce back down here to my animation tuning. I'm going to follow these helpful benchmarks that Pixify Tips includes on theirs, and then I'm going to paste that. For my actor name, I'm going to leave it as Leah. So this is going to be the same thing I had for my clip package. If you forget what you named it, you could always bring it back up and make sure the actor names are the same for both. And for the tuning name, I'm just going to do Leah underscore idle because that's what she's doing. After that, I'm going to make my way to the animation state mach machine. I'm going to highlight your actor name, control F. It'll pop up here. I'm going to replace it with Leah, so that's predetermined. I'm then going to highlight tuning name, replace my tuning name with Leah underscore idle, just as I did on the animation tuning. Next, I'm going to highlight the source asset name, do the same thing, paste it here, and then I know I'm going to just type it in manually, but you could also control and copy it here. So I'm going to do Leah underscore one underscore one they're the same for that replace correct and then i'm going to highlight this clip name all the way from the c to the one copy it paste it up here and then i'm going to copy the clip name from my clip package and again it's up here in the name or it's down here they're exactly the same so it's not that much of a de big deal paste it and replace all I'm going to make sure I save, but I'm not going to close the package just yet because I have to change my object definition. So I'm going to go to object tuning and copy my name. And then I'm going to go back to object definition. I'm going to press tune. I'm going to copy that or select all of that and then paste it to replace everything. So then now they have the same tuning name and therefore the same tuning ID. Then I'm going to make my way back to object tuning. I'm going to press this button down here that's going to show me all of my local tunings. 
I'm going to highlight the one I did for my animation tunings. Copy. Then highlight all of this and paste it here. And then just be safe, I'm going to make my way back to the Studio tab. Go to Tools, Tools, Modding, Renumber, OK, Tools, Modding, Sync. And then now I'm going to save my folder. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, paste it into my mods folder, and then hop into game for the possibly final step to make sure that this thing works properly. I will see you guys there when we're in game to play test our deco sim. Okay guys, so we are back in game for step 10 of the tutorial, which is the final step play testing. We are back in the save file all the way from step one, I believe. And here we have our deco sim and she is looking perfect. I see nothing looks crazy, out of place, she is going through the animation and looping just fine. And if I click on her, I have the option to view her. Okay, so this is going to mark the end of this tutorial and congratulations for making it this far all the way to the final step. Again, if you're a tier 3, keep in mind that you have an additional layer of resources in the community chat and in the comments section. So if you're really stuck running into a dead wall, feel free to go ahead and ask questions, send me pictures of what's going on, and I'll try my very best to help you. If you're watching the version of this on YouTube, I'll try my best to answer straightforward questions, but because of everything that goes wrong and because we don't have access to sending pictures and such, it's going to be very much harder and there's really only so much I can do, but I will try my best to respond to you over there as well and provide some form of help or assistance. We made it this far. Congratulations, and again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really hope that this tutorial was helpful. I put my all into trying to break it down and explain everything, and I hope, hope, hope that it helped. So again, thank you so much, and I will see you guys later. This has been Teresi. Bye!